humans, it's just Martine and welcome to another Dollar Tree haul. This Dollar Tree haul is especially special because it's the first of the Dollar Tree hauls once Dollar Tree went from $1 for everything to $1.25. So each of these books cost $1.25. And although on a very brief glance, I can tell $1.25 for a book is still an absolute steal. They're brand new books, they're usually in great condition, and I found some real gems there. Some might say, oh, there's an increase in price is it still worth it? So I want to tell you with the increase in price just how much I saved on this stack of five books today. So make sure you stay tuned until the end to see just how much I saved. Let me tell you, this is a good one. So I'm going to run through these in no particular order. It's a bunch of random genres. Like I think there's some literary fiction, maybe some crime. I have a novella to share with you. Four of these are hardcover and one is paperback. So Let's jump straight into it with The Last Cruise by Kate Christensen. The Last Cruise appears from reading the inside flap to be this book about this like vintage cruise ship that goes for its very last cruise, hence The Last Cruise, and all the things that happen on that last cruise. So there seem to be like an interesting cast of characters. We have a journalist, we have a violinist, we've got this Hungarian sous chef, and apparently like weird things are happening, tensions are rising among the crew, but there are a couple of rules to this cruise, so you can't have cell phones and there are no children allowed. So I don't know if this is going to be like an isolated thriller. I don't really know what genre it's supposed to be and I'm not sure it will tell me. So it could just be literary fiction with some tension. It could be more of a thriller type situation. I really have no clue, but I thought it was an interesting premise and the inside flap is written so beautifully that I want to see like how the writing is in the actual book. For example, this sentence says, but this is the second decade of an uncertain new millennium, not the sunny heedless fifties and certain disquieting signs of strife and malfunction above and below decks intrude on the festivities. That's so like, it's just, Ah, this author has written a couple other books. She's won some awards. The copyright for this is 2018, and this was originally sold for $26.95. So already on this first book, we got a big winner. Saved almost like 25 bucks on this. That's huge. Then we have We Went to the Woods by Kate Dolan Leach, which just has a very interesting cover. Like I saw it and I was unsure about whether it was going to pick it up, but in the end I decided to. This seems to be about this small group of people who are like sure that the world is going to end. So they go to this previous socialist commune that's been abandoned and they transform it into this like idyllic homestead for them to try and survive on. It's a very wacky group of people and apparently some of them are doing some really weird things. The main character is like noticing people like disappearing at night or saying weird things and it's just got like an overall eerie vibe i guess it's dark gothic and hauntingly beautiful the secret history meets the beach with the generous dash of the great gatsby also interestingly enough this is not a translated work i don't think but the author herself is a literary translator like as a profession so that's pretty cool this copyright was 2019 and this originally sold for $27. So another big winner right here. Next, we have American Heroine by Melissa Scrivener Love. Obviously the title intrigued me and then I opened the flap and the following happened. It's a landmark American crime epic, a gritty and high octane thriller about an uncompromising woman who will do anything to protect her growing criminal empire. So it's about this woman at the top of the Los Angeles drug trade and uh, she has a target on her back and there's a new cartel that starts a war between them. So I guess things happen. She has an enemy, now things are bad. I'm excited for this. Reading about this like gang mafia type thing is really interesting to me, especially through the view of the things that I've learned in all of my forensic psychology classes. I'm interested to see if there are like portrayals of substance abuse in this and how those discussions are handled, if they are present. I'm definitely interested in like the family aspect of this because it seems like she's even willing to like let bad things happen to her family just so her business can survive. And it's definitely interesting that it's a female who's in charge of this group. So I'm just intrigued overall. These three books just seem intriguing. That was my main vibe that I got from them. And this was copyright also 2019 and was also originally $27. Three pretty much $27 books. It's, you know, it's a great haul. 
Next, I have Beautiful Animals by Lawrence Osborne. And I don't like the cover material this as much. These are like more matte, and this is like a glossy finish. So it wasn't really for the feel that I picked it up. This appears to be a book about these two girls who go on this hike and we found this man who's uh, still alive, but there was something wrong with him. And so they try to help him. I think he's a migrant from Syria. So there should be some interesting discussions there. I hope they're handled well. And this really caught me in the end. It says, in this brilliant psychological study of manipulation and greed. And that's all I need to hear to be like, yes, let me read it immediately. Copyright is <laughs> printed like right on this edge, which is a little weird, but that's fine. The copyright for this is 2017. So it's the oldest of these books so far. And it was originally sold for $25. So not quite as much as the others, but it's also like shorter than the others. And again, that glossy cover. And then last, but certainly not least, I have McGlue by Otessa Moshbag, who is an author I've been wanting to read from for a while now because Gabriel Armstrong on his channel, this is like one of his favorite authors ever. And I definitely want to read her like novel length works, like my year of rest and relaxation and all that stuff. But the fact that I found one of her novellas is great. Like what a good introduction a novella would be. I also believe this is her first book and it's won a couple book awards. Like she's won a ton of awards with this book specifically or novella. This novella has specifically won a ton of awards. It's set in Salem, Massachusetts, which is already a, like, big yes moment. It seems to be about this man who was so drunk he may have killed somebody and he's trying to figure that out which is pretty interesting and obviously has interesting implications for like guilt at the time of crime and things like that. Plus set in Salem, Massachusetts like I'm hoping that comes into play but I also love the cover for this. It's just so cool looking. The stripes on the back I like a, a little less but overall it's just like this cute novella really really floppy I want to read it so badly and I do have plans to read it this year so hopefully that will happen this is the oldest of all these books which is probably why it's also <laughs> paperback and the others are all hardcover but this was copyrighted in 2014 and also because this was paperback it was significantly originally cheaper than the rest so it was originally $15 still I'm glad that I didn't pay $15 for a novella like obviously the author deserves that money, but uh, most of it's going to the publishing house and I don't have that kind of money right now. In the future, I'd love to buy my books brand new from like independent bookstores and stuff, but I'm a college student and I just want to read books. So this is my solution. Really, really excited about this find. Like almost screamed when I saw this in the store. So those are the five books that I picked up on this first 125. <laughs> Dollar Tree book haul. Let's get you some numbers. So in total, these books are worth $120.95. For five books, $120.95. So basically $121. I spent, paying $125 for each one, $6.25, which means that I saved $114.70. So that extra 25 cents on each one was still definitely worth it. I think this is one of my best like savings wise hauls in a while and that's with the price jump. So all of my Dollar Tree hauls from here on out will be 125, but I think this video proves that that's not a huge deal for the savings in the long run. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which of these books interests you the most or have you read any of them and subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye.